Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jeanette from the Enthusiastic Gardener. Now today it is cold, chilly, going to rain all day probably, so I really can't do much out here. However, I've been trying to think of something that I can do inside and I thought of something that I could jazz up in my garden, so it's still another project to do. Before I forget, please subscribe to my channel if you're new by hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and then you'll be able to see all my videos. I plan to put videos out every Sunday and every Thursday, and so far I've managed to stick to my schedule. So it's this area of my garden here. Can you see I have, I have this pot on a pedestal, just zoom in a bit. And um, I had some beautiful uh, flowers in there last year. I'll find a picture and put those up so you can see. But I think that colour pot is rather bland and boring. And I have an idea of jazzing it up a bit. So that's what I'm going to do today. Giving it a good clean. So it's been out there for quite a few years. So hasn't been washed ever. I want it to be nice and dry because I'm going to put some glue on. So obviously the glue needs to stick. I have turned my spare bedroom into my dressing room and very recently Richard, my husband, put these beautiful tiles on the top of the work surface for me. They're absolutely gorgeous. Greens and blues, a bit of sparkle and a bit of bling. Well, so the reason I was showing you my tiles in my walk-in wardrobe is because I have quite a few left over. And each sheet, was about £10 each so I have quite a few rolls of these and lots of bits and pieces but it's ideal because they're all in tiny squares you can even cut individual squares I have loads so I didn't want them to go to waste they're so pretty lots and lots and I don't know how much of the pot I can cover but let me show you what I'm going to do. So here I have my pot and I've got it on a Lazy Susan. It'll be much easier to work with. You can see there's already a hole in the bottom. So what I thought I would do, somehow cover the pot with these. I think I've got enough to go all the way around. Excellent, yes I have. I also have two lots of super glue. These were one pound each from the pound shop. So I'm going to measure around the pot using a piece of string. Let's have a look. That long there. So my pot measures one meter in circumference. So I'm just laying out one meter's worth of tiles, so I do have enough. So we are ready to go. So, plan A did not work as I anticipated. So we are now on plan B. Plan B is far better than plan A anyway. I'm just gonna take a little longer. Phase two, off we go. I think what I'm gonna have to do is do smaller sections because I have to, this is too heavy, really. One big sheet is quite heavy and I've realized I have to keep pushing it down for a good five minutes to help it stick. I'll carry on, I think it looks nice. Off we go again. How 
comes it sticks to your hand in an instant and yet I have to hold this down for I've set my Alexa timer for five minutes each section I just have to be patient which is not one of my strongest virtues so five minutes each little section I'm going to hold down firmly and yet it will stick my fingers together in a second It's fine. Alexa, set timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Alexa, stop. sections but it takes longer but it's easier to hold them down and I'm covered in glue <laughs> carrying on so here we are it took a long time because had to hold each piece, each section for five minutes and I realised that big sections were much harder, they kept falling off and there is a definite back to it, definite um, crooked side which is this side here, that's where it met or didn't meet but anyway, I'm going to leave that now to dry overnight. I am literally covered in super glue, so I have to sit now and peel all that off. I do um, get these ideas in my mind of, of projects to do, not realising <laughs> how tricky they actually are. But at least I've done it. Now I have to sit and peel off super glue. So I'm back now, it's a couple of days later because it has rained non-stop. But the potty's done, I'm here with my two helpers. The potty's done, looking good. I'm gonna plant it up quickly and I've got some very pretty colorful polyanthus. So they'll give a bit of color for a few weeks. So I'm gonna pop that up really quickly now. enjoyed this video I hope it gave you an idea of something you can do while it's still a little bit cold I think it looks cute happy gardening and I'll see you again very soon bye